we are. The organization of the Elohim. Welcome. We wish you Welcome. a great day. We want to come here to mention things that have not been mentioned, that may be logical but not have been mentioned to you. For we overlook the spiritual side of your development. But in that, we must also let you know that the body is affected by fourth dimensional energy. As the brain has been activated in a different way, so is the body encouraged to react a different way as well. So do not fight the feelings in your body. Many have had headaches and many have had tensions in their necks and shoulders and even down the spine. Some of this is from that third dimensional, fourth dimensional energy that's come to third dimension. Now, just relax and let it take a simulation into your system because this is the way that it will react the best with you. Many of you do not understand how powerful the fourth dimensional energy in your brain has become because as the ascension continues, the power of that activation becomes greater. This is something of a great thing for you because you will be able to ground yourself more easily and bring yourself up through the fourth dimension. So, do not fight it. If you feel a headache coming on or tiredness or something that you feel that is fourth dimensionally activated, please just say a prayer that the fourth dimension will assimilate into that area of the body and not bother the physical. The spiritual is also affected by the fourth dimensional energy. Fourth dimensional energy in the spirit makes you lighter and able to understand more spiritual things than you were able to understand before. Many of you have gone through revisions in your spiritual thought patterns because of fourth dimensional energy that has come to you. The physical and the mental and the spiritual are all connected in some way, yet we govern the spiritual. And as the spiritual moves forward, we ask that you become greater help to one another. Do not feign friendship or do not be as quiet as you once were. If you feel like speaking, you must speak. If there is a thought that needs to be shared, you must share it. This is the time. This is the time when the spirit is coming forth, when it is starting its ascension. Because the ascension is not only with the mind, but the body, the spirit, and the emotion. All must be coming along at the same speed, or else you will lose something in your translation of the ascension. Now, if you feel one of these is lagging behind, pray and intention your meditations to equalize your body systems so that you rise all at once. Now, you have not been told about this before too often, perhaps because the spirit is the most important and brings the others along, but I must mention it because there are some whose bodies are not ascending as fast as their spirit and emotion and mind. So make sure that you let the assimilation of the fourth dimensional energy come to you in a way that will help your body also feel the physical benefits of this fourth dimensional energy. Do you understand me? Yes. Wonderful. We bring blessings to you as well. And I know there is one out there that speaks the Hebrew language that we all are familiar with. We have a percentage of that within us still. About 60% of our language is from that Hebrew. But it is different now than it was before. So we do not understand it quite as clearly. But yet it is still able to be deciphered. So there, in that, we understand humanity in some ways. Is there any questions? Yes, for those that don't really know who the Elohim are, can you give us a little 
We are of God. We have ascended into a spiritual community. We have those that broke off from us, as El did, and become different facets of God. But God, of course, is one and the Creator. We are not at that level, but just below. Do you understand? Yes. Um, and in reference to Earth, how... how we are the protectors of the spirituality of Earth. We are not always able to get through to humanity the way that we would like to. However, there are things that have to happen, and we must let them happen so that the will of God is carried out on your planet. But it is essential that we speak to your spirits now and then and bring you to a place of understanding. Just recently, we have spoke to many of a group in several different countries about raising their spiritual understanding and bringing the truth to a resonation within them because they were not resonating with the total truth. They were following everywhere they could find for some information. But now their spiritual truth has been aligned with us. Okay, in, in terms of resonation, um, can, can you tell us what is the best way um, for us to decide? I, I understand to follow the heart. When your um, eyes are open, you will know that it's a truth. If you feel that something is wrong and there's incompletion or there's something that is not quite right, you know that that is not a resonation that goes to you. But, of course, some truths on the earth are poisoned, so you must find the pearl and shed it from the oyster, so to speak, so that you may find that which is inside of it that is the pure truth. But it may be covered with other things. But you will, if you look, if you look diligently, you will find. Seek and you shall find. It is written and it is truth. Okay. You will find it. Do you understand that, or does that not explain what I am saying? Yes, you, your resonation it. is also that which makes you happy. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Um, sure, and then Rowie? Da. Hello. Sure. Yes, we are aware I'm the one. Ah, you remember me? Yes. Um, two questions. The first one is that uh, I know there is an uh, agent being, being around my brother named uh, Anamo, maybe, that uh, Anamo. sent by the... Yes. That was sent by the Elohim to him? Yes. What do you want to know about that? Um... Why uh, did they send him the Bing? They, he needed protection at that time. There was something that was coming upon him that was not meant to be, and therefore protection was necessary. Okay. Um, can I try to speak with you with Hebrew, maybe some Bible-like Hebrew? Let's see if we can somehow communicate in your own uh, language, if it's okay. I would not like to do that at this time because we are not familiar with your Hebrew language. It is 60% but 40% different. But if you would like to speak something, I would like to see if I can understand. Okay, I will say something from the Bible. Are you, are you, can you hear me? I can hear. Okay. שם נעליך מעל רגליך, כי מקום בו אתה עומד הוא קדוש. We did not understand. However, we will learn more. It's from the Bible. Yes, but our version is now different. The Can Bible is different. The Bible is not as accurate as you might think. And so, mm -hmm. therefore, we do not memorize that 
that which you call the Bible, but the truth that was there when it started, when it was originally written. So your truth may be, your writing may be different in that sense, because the truth has been changed, or what they call changed, the writing has been changed, and so the meanings have been changed. Mm -hmm. So many times the Old Testament, the parts that were written in Hebrew, were actually changed through the years, and may be very, very different now, and are very, very different now. I see. Can you maybe speak in your own tongue? Hmm. <laughs> it does not sound the same, does it? No. <laughs> Okay, um, thank you very, very much. You are welcome. You are so social, Sylvia. Shalom to moi. You can I sent you a small blessing, and perhaps eyes will be opened as to different things for you. Thank you. Blessings, dear one. I'm sure there's many, many questions. There's a lot of your, let's say, history in our texts and books, and um, I'm sure we've got many questions for you today. I believe Noha has some. Noha. Welcome. Greetings, dear one. The, this is Noha. Uh, my question um, uh, When at our day and age will spirituality be part of all religions? When will your DNA what? No, no, I didn't say DNA. I said when will, when at our DNA, will spirituality be part of all religion? Mm -hmm. That is not for a while yet because you have so many diversities. To get them all together will take many, many different tasks. But they are starting to unify in the light worker community. They are starting to unify in some of the other great communities. Even the Christian community is now starting to understand that their God is the same as other gods and they, they have the same power. They see, seek the same endings and speak the same words in many ways. So this is a beginning. But there is a, a long way to go. Many tasks and many interventions to come. Oh, okay. okay. The other question is uh, regarding the energies we spoke about earlier. Uh, more than two months ago, I've been I've been hurt on my on my uh, arm. Okay, at the yes. All the joints. So I don't know. Is it from this energy you're talking about? Because I feel my spirit has been raised. I feel I'm at four D. But I don't know. Is it right? Is it, I'm seeing something energetically in my arm. Is it had to do with what you said just a minute ago? I think I understood your question. There is something energetically going on in your arm. Is that correct? Yes, sure, sure. And what is the question about that? Is it that has to do with the energy you talked about a minute ago about the oh. 4D? Uh, is it has to do with that? It does not at this time. However, you will feel the effects of that fourth dimensional energy in the head, shoulders, necks, and back and spine mostly. Others will feel it in the arms, but the, the thing that you are feeling in the arm is not that. Your head would have been affected first. Thanks, that's it. Thanks. But I can tell you that the healing in your arm has already begun. Great, thank you. You are welcome. Um, I would like to, if if you could say a prayer or help uh, one of our members, Jeannie. Um, she actually is the one that speaks the Elohim, and she taught me it. Ah, uh, yes. We are aware of her, and we have also have been with her. God has sent us to be with her. 
She is blessed. Thank you. And we are there now. Yeah, because we're all concerned for her, and some of us felt that it wasn't her time. But um, if you can do whatever you can do for her, in she whatever she is doing capacity. well at the moment. Thank you. Things will change. It will be fine. This we have decided, or we are deciding. When her time is, there are many things that come in to influence that decision. But it is not that she would die. She would just return to the Oversoul. Do not be sad if she does. But I do not think she will at this time. Okay, thank you. Dear one, I have a question for you. I want to ask about your interactions with humanity at this time and the previous nows and the last, let's say, 50 years, have you been actively um, contacting people on this planet? Yes. We have always been actively contacting people on your planet within, since the beginning of your existences. Uh -huh. I say that because there are many existences here. And we have been in contact, but you may not understand how we contact humanity. We contact you in a way that only you will understand and only that you will know. But the thing is, you do not recognize it as Elohim. You, are, you recognize it as a third dimensional thought pattern because that's what dimension you are in. But we must work with you on that dimension because we cannot change you. Okay, I understand. I have a follow-up on that. Um, yes. There is an organization I was part of um, many years ago and Raul. claims that he was contacted by an Elohim being called Yara. Raul. Raul. Is that correct? Raul? Rael, we call him Raul. Uh huh. Yes. yes, we contacted him. And you visited him and asked him to write. But he let some of the Louis. things that we told him not be totally explained properly. He did find at the beginning speak many wise things that we have given him, but after a while things disintegrated and we did not realize till we came back that some things were not correct. Okay. But thank you. yes, we spoke to him. Yeah, they are right. planning to build an. Call him Ryle. You call him Ryle. What do you he call him? Stuff Ryle. Yes. Rael, we call him Ru'ul. I believe it means messenger in Hebrew, if I'm correct. Yes. And the I would like to ask about Yahweh and the connection of Yahweh to the Elohim. Yahweh is one from the beginning. Uh -huh. Another name for God. Another name for that who is in charge that who creates, that who is larger than us. Thank you. I know you have a smaller version, but the original Yahweh comes from the beginning. The I am, the beginning. Wow, thank you. Um, that's okay. I've finished now. If anyone else would like to ask a question, sure. If you can, you want to ask one more question? Yes. Um, I know that uh, there was a part in the Bible. Um, I don't remember which king it was. I think it was uh, Shlomo or David that slept by the Aaron a Brit. If you know what it is, the one uh, that gone missing the device that he used in order to communicate with the Elohim, the Hebrews. Yes. And I know that uh, in one of the stories, 
one of those kings uh, fell asleep next to the device and then talk with the Elohim, which uh, the Hebrews uh, refer to as God. We still refer to you as God. We still pray to the Elohim. The Elohim is of God, yes. But yes. he is on a higher level, slightly higher. The level higher than us. But Elohim, the word El in the Hebrew is God. Yes. So yes, we are gods in the sense that we follow and take his will and do it. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me about that time that uh, many of the kings ask for uh, the Elohim for long uh, periods of time of living? I don't know how to explain it. And well of knowledge. Yes, uh, what you want to know. Um, yes, there was a time when there was the Elohim interacted very closely with humanity in the sense that we were trying to make them understand what what God was and how God worked and the miracles of God and the long the ability to give gifts to humanity but they misused them and we so we left them hmm. so you left the Hebrews, you no longer... Uh... Only, only, we did not leave them as much as distance ourselves from them for a while because we needed to understand their reactions to this great power. They corrupted themselves with power. And hmm. so we had to leave them so they came back down. Like uh, Shlomo the King had like 10,000 women and stuff like that? Yes. Okay, and when you mean you gave them great powers, how did you brought them powers? You gave them abilities? Well, they were able to live long periods of time. They were able to know and understand other people without really speaking to them because telepathy was strong at that period. And so they were able to build their businesses by taking advantage of the people, but that is not what we wanted it for. So you, we had to let them fail. Mm. Yes, I can see. Um, what about now? Now can you trust someone with that power? No. Mm. Okay. Um, also, I would invite you to, if you want to visit me or speak with me, I would... We Love have visited to. you and have spoken to you. We do not know if you understood, but we will come to your language and learn it again. Can you tell me when did you spoke with me? A year ago in January. What was it? What was it what? The, the time that you spoke with me, maybe I remember it uh, differently. It was about the changes you were making in your life at that time. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I invite you again. Thank you. You are welcome. Um, I have two questions. Can you tell us what your... How do you see God? I know it's a difficult question uh, with our language, but if you could give us your best description of how how do you perceive God? He is all around us, inside and out. When we are close to him, there is warmth, and every cell of your existence becomes filled with love. That is how you experience God. Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful, yes. Um, I know I have uh, spoken Elohim. Yes. Um, and you gave me the, the experience that I had. Yes. Um, which was beautiful. Thank you for that. You are welcome, and many more. You are starting to rise now. 
Let me give you a small prophecy of who you are. If I am able. Yes, but now is the beginning of your journey. You thought it started earlier, but it did not. It starts now, and you will rise. Yes, because um, normally when I do my meditations, it's I usually think of God. Um, and... I wish to understand it more. Um, I felt him. I felt the energy and the love. Um, I felt at that time. Uh, and many years ago, I also felt it uh, yes. during meditation. Um, it is a time that is coming now where things will change for you. But I cannot tell you how. But you will know when it happens. Okay, thank you. Um, is there a reason why I haven't spoken the Elohim anymore? It will come again. Okay. It is just not time yet for you to speak it. When you speak Elohim, there must be a reason. Okay. There must be a purpose. It cannot be just words in the air. Elohim has meaning. It must be shared. It just cannot be thrown out into the air. Like a blessing or something? Yes. Okay. I will keep that in mind. Thank you. You are welcome. Uh, anybody else have any questions? In the room with Jim, there's a couple of people. If they have any questions. I do. Yes. Uh, I do. Sandy, um, since you are... So very close to God. I was just wondering if you, what your capabilities of healing our bodies here on Earth, like maybe helping Jim with his eyes. Um, we are capable of doing many kinds of healings and miracles. However, this is not the day and age for them in multitudes. Occasionally we must do a miracle or occasionally we do healings, but it is not our time for that. Our time now is for teaching of spirit. And there are those that will come into the light that we will heal. But there are reasons for afflictions on humanity to keep them without pride, to keep them without great thoughts of themselves, perhaps, to keep them into a perspective that is understandable to third dimension. And so, therefore, there are afflictions. But do not be fooled. Some of these afflictions will be taken away because they are not supposed to be there. And it will not seem as a miracle, but seem as that they were supposed to leave as they did. Do you understand? Um, yes. Um, I was just wondering if it's possible to help Jim heal his eyes so that he could see. Well, no. Not now. Okay. There is a reason for this. I think. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I am going now. Thank I see you. the questions are fewer and less important. I will go. Okay. Thank you for coming. Thank you yeah. so much. Hello. And I want to say to sure, we cannot let you know for sure that we exist yet. There are reasons for this. That is why all your questions of proof are unanswered, and there are others that feel the same. But there are reasons for these things. Your faith is being tested. Do not lose it. Okay. In the future, I will speak with you, channel you. Always. I will speak with you soon. Thank you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to, to it. Very good. Thank you, dear one. Our unconditional love to your people. And unconditional love, spirit, energy, and blessings to you. We give you great power when it comes to peace.
bring peace upon yourselves because in the peace you find the love and the ascension when your body is at peace love can grow in a great way nourish it thank you namaste namaste